Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In this video, we will talk about robotics in oil and gas, and how it is transforming the way we explore, produce, and transport energy. Robotics is the science and engineering of creating machines that can perform complex actions automatically and repeatedly. The history of robotics goes back to ancient times, when people invented mechanical devices that could mimic human or animal movements. For example, the Greek engineer Hero of Alexandria designed a steam-powered bird that could fly in the air. However, the modern concept of robotics emerged in the 20th century, with the development of electronic circuits, sensors, and computers. The term robot was coined by the Czech writer Karl Kapek in his 1920 play Ruar, which depicted a dystopian future where artificial workers rebel against their human masters. The first industrial robot was built by George Devol in 1954 and was used to move objects on an assembly line. Since then, robotics has advanced rapidly, with the introduction of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and computer vision. Robotics can be divided into two main types, industrial and service robots. Industrial robots are used for manufacturing, construction, and mining purposes. They are usually fixed in one place and perform repetitive tasks with high precision and speed. Service robots are used for non-industrial purposes, such as healthcare, education, entertainment, and security. They are usually mobile and interact with humans or the environment. Some examples of industrial robots are welding robots, painting robots, and assembly robots. Some examples of service robots are surgical robots, educational robots, and social robots. Both types of robots have applications in the oil and gas industry, which I will explain in more detail later. The oil and gas industry is one of the most important sectors in the world economy, as it provides energy for transportation, heating, electricity, and many other uses. However, it also faces many challenges, such as declining reserves, increasing costs, environmental regulations, safety risks, and geopolitical uncertainties. Therefore, the industry needs to adopt new technologies and solutions to improve its efficiency, productivity, and sustainability. This is where robotics comes in. Robotics can offer many benefits to the oil and gas industry, such as improving safety, enhancing efficiency, and reducing environmental footprint. Robotics can be applied to all stages of the oil and gas value chain, upstream, midstream, and downstream. Here are some examples of how robotics is used in each segment. Upstream, robotics can help explore new oil and gas fields, produce oil and gas, and maintain oil and gas facilities. Midstream, robotics can help transport and store oil and gas as well as monitor infrastructure. Downstream, robotics can help refine and market oil and gas. Robotics is a game changer for the oil and gas industry. But who are the main players in this field? Who are the innovators and leaders in robotics for oil and gas? Here are some examples of companies that are making headlines with their robotic solutions. BP, the British energy giant, has been testing Boston Dynamics Spot Robot at its Mad Dog oil platform in the Gulf of Mexico since 2020. Spot is a four-legged robot that can walk, climb, and navigate rough terrain. It can also carry cameras, sensors, or tools to perform various tasks such as inspecting equipment, measuring temperature, or detecting gas leaks. Patronus, the Malaysian state-owned oil and gas company, has been using Anybotics Anymal robot at its offshore platform since 2019. Anymal is another four-legged robot that can perform similar functions as Spot, but with more autonomy and intelligence. It can also operate in harsh weather conditions such as rain, snow, or dust. Exxon Mobil, the American oil and gas giant, has been testing Neighbors Industries' Rigtelligent operating system at its drilling rigs since 2018. Rigtelligent is a robotic system that can automate the entire drilling process, from planning to execution. It can also optimize the performance and safety of the rig by using data analytics and machine learning. These are just some of the examples of how robotics is revolutionizing the oil and gas industry. There are many more companies and projects that are developing and deploying robotic solutions for various purposes and challenges. In fact, according to a report by Markets and Markets, the global market for robotics in oil and gas is expected to grow from $1.9 billion in 2020 to $4.1 billion by 2025. 
at a compound annual growth rate of 16.5%. This growth is driven by several factors such as increasing demand for oil and gas, decreasing cost of robotics, and improving regulation and standardization. However, there are also some challenges and barriers that hinder the adoption and implementation of robotics in oil and gas, such as technical limitations. Despite the rapid advancement of robotics technology, there are still some technical limitations that prevent robots from performing certain tasks or operating in certain environments. For example, robots may lack the dexterity, flexibility, or adaptability to handle complex or unpredictable situations. Robots may also face communication or power issues in remote or underwater locations. Despite the potential benefits of robotics for safety and efficiency, there are still some human factors that affect the acceptance and integration of robots in the oil and gas industry. For example, workers may have concerns about job security, skill obsolescence, or social isolation due to robot replacement. Workers may also have issues with trust, collaboration, or coordination with robots. Despite the increasing regulation and standardization of robotics in oil and gas, there are still some legal and ethical implications that need to be addressed. For example, who is responsible or liable for the actions or outcomes of robots? How to protect the privacy or security of data collected or transmitted by robots? How to ensure the fairness or transparency of decisions made by robots? These are some of the questions and challenges that need to be answered and solved as robotics becomes more widespread and influential in the oil and gas industry. However, I believe that these challenges can be overcome with more research, innovation, collaboration, and education. I believe that robotics is not a threat but an opportunity for the oil and gas industry to improve its performance, sustainability, and competitiveness. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comment section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.